That could be on the cover of an art textbook. You would never know that this was the left glute of an anime girl. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roth Draws. My name is Roth and I draw, but can I draw like this? If you don't know, all this art is made by the digital artist Akimi Chan. She runs a very successful Patreon where you can get her Photoshop files, process videos, and even more mature content. Cool story, Akimi and I actually did an art trade years ago at Anime Expo. I gave her my Nidalee piece and she gave me her Sashomaru knowing I'm a huge Inuyasha fan. So today, let's see if I can adopt her more adult art style. I've actually never drawn lewd before. The only time I've drawn nude bodies was in figure drawing class. So we have our red light district in the back. We have our inspiration, Sakimi Chan. So let's get started. All right, quest accepted. And there are two main objectives I'm keeping in mind of while I sketch out the character. Number one, the character has to be at a dynamic angle. You know, you'll hardly see Takimi's character kind of static, look at the camera straight on. And number two, we always want to show off those assets. Kimi Chan is always up to date on pop culture. You know, she's always drawing the latest characters from video games and anime, but I've decided to draw my own original character. Um, usually I start with a character design to try to find the right aesthetic, what's appealing, but uh, I've never done this method before. Starting with that body shape and then designing the hair and the goggles and all the costume afterwards. I had in mind to push the proportion of the character, you know, and I thought I was pushing the anatomy as far as I can, but looking at the reference here, I don't think I pushed it far enough. And so I need to liquefy this a bit. Filter, liquefy. This is how I like to fix my proportions. A little more. Okay, that looks a lot better. Also the hips. So right now we are painting the house. I have to choose a lot of different colors that evoke some emotion, you know, which color tones match with what color tones. And did you guys know that there is a color of the year? And this year, 2022, very Perry. You know, it's kind of this nice purple with some blue tones. So I think we're gonna use this purple here for the hair. Design is getting there. You know, she looks a little spunky. She has some like goggles. And I'm starting to think about lighting sources. You know, how I'm gonna stage this and light this. And my initial instinct and my safe option would be to light her from above or in front or three quarter. And looking at Sakimi Chan's references here, she has all sorts of really cool varying light directions and intensities. And so I'm thinking we have her top half in shadow, her bottom half in light, and her face can be lit by bounce light. And so we can play with several lighting sources like Sakimi. Usually our natural instinct as a human being is to look at the face. You know, if we are all evenly lit, we tend to focus on the face for the focal point. But Sakimi Chan combats our natural instinct and sometimes the face isn't the brightest part, it's the chest. It has the most contrast and it ends up being the focal point. Guys, I just have to say that the Kimi Chan is the queen of rendering. Her skin, her textures, her fabric looks so good. And those of you who went to art school thought that you never have to shade another sphere again. Boom! <laughs> Look at that. That could be on the cover of an art textbook. You would never know that this was the left glute of an anime girl. By the way, everyone, this is Chris. He helps shoot and edits all the videos, and he's wearing the one, the only, Color Dodge hoodie. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces of merch I've ever created. It sold out two times last year, and it's back in stock. So grab it before it's gone, rothdolls.com. Right, Chris? Okay. As I'm getting into rendering the skin, uh, Zakimi Chan excels at this kind of sharp light 
soft shadow technique. I don't know what tool she does, but I'm gonna use the lasso tool. So I'm gonna carve out the selection here, and then I'm gonna control H to hide. I'm gonna airbrush it. Ooh, it's a little harsh right there, so I'm gonna erase with an airbrush as well. Before, after, before, and after. It seems like Sakimi Chan posts one of these fully rendered pieces every two days, and I don't know how she does it. There's just so much detail. Seems like she has rendering, the texture, and the materials on muscle memory. Seriously, prop to her, I cannot keep up. Yeah, so this is a little bit more my style, but I added some uh, energy and some lightning, you know, some of that Rostral flair, which means we added a whole nother light source. Yeah, you can see that light source on our character here. A little reflectivity on the pants over here, some of the bounce on this arm over here, and ooh, here. As much as I want to move on to color dodge, this is a Sakimi Chan style video, so we're not done yet. For each character that Sakimi Chan paints, she usually makes two or three alternate versions with less and less clothing. And so, in true Sakimi Chan fashion, let's take some clothes off. Oh my god. Before I get demonetized on YouTube, it's color dodge time. And if you want my brushes, my advanced brush set for digital painting is now out. Available for Photoshop, CSP, and Procreate. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you.